Welcome to the new month which means we are going to find out some fresh Android applications to try out. So in this video I've got 6 not so popular but useful Android applications to show you so leave a like on the video and let's get started. If you are tired of the same old gallery applications and want something that truly stands out, AB's Gallery is a free and open source gallery and metadata explorer application for Android which is designed with a focus on powerful search and filtering functionalities, making it easier than ever to manage and explore your media. It supports a wide range of image and video formats from the standard JPEGs and MP4s to the more exotic formats like multi-page TIFFs and old AVI files. One of the standout features of AVIS Gallery is its advanced filtering options which lets you filter images by title, date, albums, locations, ratings and metadata, which means finding that specific photo from your last vacation or sorting through your entire collection by the date is a breeze. It also offers a detailed statistics menu, breaking down your images by file types, top locations, and most populated folders. There is even a yearly image frequency graph for those of you who love diving into the data about your media. It comes with widgets and app shortcuts, and is compatible with various versions of Android. Navigation in this application is smooth and intuitive. I really love the open and closing animation of images. It also works as a media viewer and picker adding to its versatility. The app is highly customizable and user-friendly, open source and ad-free, with tons of features. Next is Material Photo Widget. This is a free and open source simple application used to display photos on your home screen. So to customize your home screen with some favorite photos, you can use this application. And what makes this different from other photo widget applications is the ability to automatically change photos based on time intervals, which means you can select multiple photos for a widget and it will be changing automatically. The app does not require any permissions, you can either start directly from the app or start by loading the widget onto the home screen and then proceed to the widget's configuration. The widgets are in various shapes, you can choose single photos or choose an entire folder of images. You can set the tap action, so when you tap on the widget, it can either open images in full screen, view the next image or open an app shortcut. It works pretty well, refreshes on time, and it's very responsive. MovieDB is an open source application for exploring tons of movies and series and organizing personal collection of films. So if you are into movies, this application also offers synchronization with TMDB accounts. And so if you have that, all your data, including favorites, watch lists, movies you've rated and more will be the same in this application. It shows the latest films and series and allows you to rate them, mark them as favorites or watched with dates as well. Also offers filtering options based on genres, release dates and more, and provides full details of movies and series, descriptions, ratings and even episodes of series. You can also check out some top actors and actresses and the shows they were featured in. The application has a nice and clean dynamic material you theme and is ad free, which is unique because most movie applications come with tons of ads. And then we have Easy Notes, another clean and minimal open source note taking application very simple and smooth with no advanced features. So basically for quick note taking and the UI is very clean and offers some theming options as well. You have neat organization of notes. The developer has promised the support of images in notes in the next releases. For those of you who love workouts and fitness especially at home, you can use this application called Kenko which contains well figured out plans to help you progress. You can add your own workout or make use of the various exercises that comes with the app. And every single exercise, it shows you which part of the body is the target. You can also filter and easily find workouts for specific parts of the body. You can see the workouts for shoulder only, triceps only, biceps only and many more. You can also access the weekly plan or create a personalized plan. The application comes with various theming options with color palettes. It is a very nice and clean free application to help you with your home workouts. And then we have Veron KWGT, which is a fantastic KWGT custom widget pack with over 80 widgets. And the widgets are very cool looking and premium. It includes both color dynamic and static Android 12 inspired widgets. I featured this application in my previous customization applications video and felt like giving it a mention in this video as well. You get different widgets including photo widgets, weather widgets, dates, time, music widgets and many more. And if you haven't seen my previous video where I showed you 18 incredible Android customization applications, then click on the card at the top right corner to watch it. Also on the video at the end screen. Let me know some of your favorite applications from last month or recently in the comment section. And if you love this video, 
consider subscribing to the channel and also leave a like on the video as well and as always thank you for watching